Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Today I have a very simple love wedding card and this is what it looks like. It's so sweet and simple and so much fun to make. So first of all, I am starting by, with a five by six and a half inch card base and a four by five and a half inch mat. And then I have this little bride and groom rubber stamp. I don't know who it was made by. And the love is from Momenta, this beautiful love die. It's a scripty little die, but it is a nice, chunky size, and I find myself using this die over and over. So I'll get that run through my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. Um, this goes pretty fast. I run it through a few times. I'm using a medium weight cardstock this week. It's not heavy and it's not lightweight. It's just a medium weight, and you can see how cleanly this die cuts through. So then I'll bring over my tool in one and just poke through the center of these letters, the cutouts here, and then I'm going to just lift this from the corner. If I were to poke through the holes on the front of this die, it would actually leave those indentations on my scripty love, and I don't want that, so that's why I'm working from behind here. I'll get that removed from my die and set that aside. And then off camera, I have stamped the little bride and groom. And I'm sorry I'm a little out of frame here, but I'm going to take my small detail scissors and just cut this away because then it's easier for me to work on cutting around the bride and groom, leaving a very, very small border. I don't want a lot of border around here because it will be backed by that darker mat. And I don't want the attention to be on the border around this couple, so that's why I'm just leaving a very light one. And I'm not going to cut them apart, um, just going around the outer edges. And this is really easy cutting. And I find that if you will hold your scissors still and move the paper around, I'm sorry I'm not in frame here again, uh, it is easier to cut around smaller objects by moving the paper instead of your scissors. So there is our bride and groom, and the next thing I'm going to do is just bring over a variety of markers. They're not all the same brand. They don't ever have to be all of the same brand. I am not going to do any fancy shading or highlighting this week because these are so tiny. There's no need to go into all that detail for such a tiny image. And I'm keeping the palette very simple to go with that kind of brownish gray polka dot mat that will back the scripty love die. Just keeping it very simple. I like to use a light blue on wedding dresses and veils just so everything's not in the gray family but the light blue and the grays complement each other so well that I tend to use that quite a bit, that combination. Aren't these two so cute? Again, I don't know who made these stamps. I've had them for a long, long, long time. And I don't know the brand name to share with you, and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be making them to this day anyway. They're so old. But they stamp very well, and I do use them quite a bit. So, anyway, this is such a simple little card. I think you would enjoy making this. All you have to do is find a stamp that is about the same dimensions as your die set. You could even use individual letters, but make sure they're about the same height as some of your letters so that when you fill in, um, you know, everything's in proportion. And I made a little boo-boo there on her veil with a little bit of gray, so I'll just trim that out with my scissors. Then I'm going to bring over some foam tape and just back that mat to give it a little dimension on the front of the card because there's really nothing else going on on the front. So I'll quickly peel back the foam tape and get that centered on the front of my card. I like to use my grid mat to help me with this and then I kind of line up the corners. And if those look like they're pretty lined up, then you are pretty much on center almost every time. That's at least what works for me. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little liquid adhesive on the actual Scripty Love. Now, I have run this word through my uh, embossing folders before, and that makes a nice little touch as well. But because I want this to be simple on the front, I am not doing anything to the Scripty Love. I'm just going to stick that right over the mat. 
get that adhered and centered up. And then I will bring over that little bride and groom. Hey, I'm so glad y'all stopped by this week. Uh, I really love hearing your comments, and if you like the channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you look down here in your right-hand corner, if you're looking from, if you're watching this from your laptop, I have a subscribe button down in the lower right-hand corner. If you're watching from a cell phone, just scroll down below the video, and there is a subscribe and a notification bell, and that way you will be notified every time I post a video. So I'd love to have you come back and see me weekly. Feel free to leave me any comments. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see. I'm always trying different techniques and I just enjoy crafting. So I'm so happy you dropped by today. Here is our finished card. You can see I popped up that bride and groom on a little bit of foam tape as well. Finished off the inside. And that is it for this week. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you spend some quality time getting your craft on and that you'll come back and see me again next week.